Welcome again to our Lenten Reflection. We now begin the second week of Lent. Welcome to our Way of the Cross as we go through all the stations of the cross in this devotion. We're going to go through the third and the fourth station of the cross this time. These station pictures, illustrations are in our classrooms. I'd like you to look at it. it. The response in our prayer is, Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Jesus is marching while well, being led and pushed along the streets of Jerusalem, the stone streets. And he's very weak. He's been up all night being tortured and whipped and uh, hurt and bruised. And now he's bleeding and he's tired and he falls down. The wood is heavy enough to carry, but he falls down to the street. When he falls down, we know that he gets up. And that's what's really great about our Lord, that uh, he never gives up loving us. He gets back up and finishes the job. And the fourth station is somebody wants to help him, someone that loves him very much, and she gets along the road where he will go. And just for a brief moment, she gives him her deepest love of her heart, and that's his mother, Mary. What a wonderful gift it was for Jesus to receive. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Okay, second grade, this is Mrs. Stever. The second week of Lent, page 253 in your book. And now, Father Barry will talk to us about the faith focus of this page. At the top, you'll see it says, How can people know we are followers of Jesus? Well, I remember on Ash Wednesday through the years that when we made the cross of ashes on the head, and then I had to go back to work, or back to school. People would say, hey, are you Catholic? I'd say, yes, it's Ash Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Some would know about Mardi Gras the night before Ash Wednesday, when people have a party right before Lent starts. But they didn't know too much about Ash Wednesday, but I would tell them, yes, I'm a follower, and this is a special time for us. So now we're going to go into our second week of it, of Lent. But how can we know we're followers of Jesus? We're connected to Jesus. We're close to Jesus. We want to be close to Jesus, just like the grapes are on the vine, as you see in that picture there. We're people that just want to be close and connected to Jesus. Let's read together the vine and the branches. You read it, and I'll read it out loud. Jesus once compared himself and his followers to a grapevine and its branches. Where Jesus lived, grapevines grew on hillsides. The vine and the branches make juicy, sweet grapes. Jesus said, he is like the vine. We are his branches. We share his life. Together with Jesus, we share God's love with others. During Lent, we grow strong like the grape branches. We do good deeds. People know that we are followers of Jesus. At baptism, we become 
one with Jesus, and we promise to believe and do what he taught us. Mrs. Stever, I suppose then we're like a grape branch, not so much like grapes like I was first thinking of, but we're like a grape branch connected to Jesus. Yes, and the fruit on the vine would be the things that show that we're Christians, you know, because you know you're a grape branch when you see the grape fruit on the branch like it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Let's turn the page, and there's an activity. It's a prayer that you can do with members of your family, a prayer for growing as a disciple of Jesus. So enjoy being with your family, enjoy this prayer together, and then reflect on our closing. As we close, we ponder the sacred wounds of Christ. Here is a model of the crown of thorns that they pressed into Jesus' head. And here is a symbol, a replica of a nail, similar to the one that was put in Jesus' hands and feet. Young people, the five glorious wounds of Christ that he would keep on his body after he died and rose again were on his hands or wrists as portrayed here and on his feet, keeping them onto the cross, as you see in the cross on our table, and then the one in his side to his heart. This depiction here has his sacred heart. Um, there's a song, O Sacred Heart So Wounded. Uh, it's a beautiful song in Lent. And there's songs about the crown of thorns and about our Lord's suffering. Mary and John, the apostle, and some others watched him die on the cross. And Good Friday, at the end of Lent, is is the culmination of all our prayers. Well, lastly, when Jesus rose from the dead, he showed his marks and wounds, especially up close to St. Thomas, the apostle. And he saw it, and now Jesus alive and risen, And he said five words, and I'd like it to make our closing prayer. He said, my Lord and my God. And so let's say that three times, okay, friends? And then we finish. My My Lord Lord and my my God. God. My My Lord Lord and my God. God. My My Lord Lord and my God. God. Peace to all of you. Thank you.